Hello everyone. Welcome to the first video in a series for Software Engineering Fundamentals um, of a uh, series of videos about um, the software engineering design process. Um, so what we're going to do in it, we're going to uh, have a problem to solve and it's a banking problem and we're going to take it step by step through the design process. The first video is about requirements analysis, part one. Okay, so here we have some requirements. So if you want to, you can pause your video and uh, read through these. I'll just go through them briefly. Um, a bank needs to operate accounts for customers. So we have accounts, we have customers. Um, accounts can be open and closed and they can be owned by either one customer or two customers jointly. There are two kinds of accounts, debit and credit accounts. Now, credit accounts cannot be joint accounts, so that means they can only have one customer attached to them. A debit account's balance can never go below zero. That's the definition of a debit account. A credit account's balance can never go below the after overdraft limit, so that means they can't have an infinite amount of debt. Now, this overdraft limit is going to be determined by the bank, and it's going to be the same for all customers. And of course, customers can perform deposit and withdraw transactions. And as a special requirement, the bank wants to know which customers have a total balance of a million dollars or more across all their accounts. So they may have many accounts, some of them joint. And if they do, then they're considered a VIP customer. All right. So what I want you to do is to um, analyze this text and pick out all the nouns verbs and adjectives that you can find. So you may want to pause the video now and do that and uh, and then continue after this and I'll show you my answer. All right, so hopefully you got a um, similar answer to what I did. Um, I've got a few. All right, so I've got a few nouns. Um, bank, customer, account, transaction, balance, and limit. Verbs, I've got operate, open, close, perform, deposit, and withdraw. And adjectives, I've got debit, credit, overdraft, joint, total, and a VIP. Now, some of these words could be in either category. They could be either a, a noun or a verb. But what I did is I analyzed the context in which the word appeared to determine if it was being used as a noun or a verb or an adjective. So an example being... Um, debit could be a verb or an adjective. All right, so now the theory in object-oriented design is the nouns are candidates to become either classes or attributes. The verbs are candidates to become method names and adjectives um, are a little bit more complicated. If it's an adjective on a noun and that noun became a class, it could mean that there's a subclass and that's a qualifying adjective for that subclass. Um, they could also be um, they could also be methods or attributes. So, but they're just put in there for for um, helpfulness. Often they'll just become an adjective on a on a noun or a verb to qualify what that class or attribute or method does. All right. So, when we're talking about attributes, um, keep in mind that um, Think of them as, as properties. So properties um, could be implemented as a object-oriented attribute in Java, or they could be implemented as a getter method. So for our purposes in design, we're just going to treat them as properties and, um, and decide later how we will implement them. All right, so in the next video, I'm going to... Um, brainstorm some classes and attributes and methods and um, and try to organize them. All right, so see you in the next video.